Yeah, thanks for uh, taking some time out tonight to give us a, a bit of an update of, of how you're getting on and yourself as club captain. What has that looked like? What does that involve during um, these times we're living in? Just try to sort of stagger the phone calls, the personal phone calls to, to, to different people in the team, see how they're getting on. Um, there's a few round, live around here, around me uh, that I've been talking to quite daily, um, seeing how they're getting on. Just trying to be an extra arm of the club if they need anything. Uh, we went down and we pretty much raided our gym and took all the equipment we could home to to try and break up the day and and try and you know get a wee gym session in when when, when you maybe uh, when you know, maybe when you're having a bad day it's good to have an hour on your own and maybe do a bit of a workout. So uh, we just try and keep us touch as much as possible and uh, just try and make sure everyone's okay. Yeah, and I asked here in a similar question, but has the sort of enforced break give you a chance to reflect a wee bit and look back on uh, kind of how we've done so far this season and how things have gone since our promotion to the Premiership? I think it's been very bad the break for us. Well, it's been bad for everybody, but for for football aspect, um, we were on a very good run in the league. Uh, we had you know, seven games left. We had to play five teams above us and then filled in the Korean twice. So. I think we were on a good run and, and we were hurt, hitting a wee bit of form. So I, I don't think the break has helped us in that term. And how how you feel things have, have gone so far, as you say, obviously the, the turn of the year has, has brought a, a real run in form and it feels like you know we were, we are very close to teams above us now. Yeah, I think once we got a few wins against the top five, we kind of, we grew in confidence and, and, and we really sort of kicked on. The the week where we beat the Glens and the Blues was was... A very big week for the club as a whole. So, I think from then on, we, we've, I don't know if it's a, a mind frame or just maybe something clicks in your head that you, you know, you, you go out there and you, you just know then you, you can compete with the top teams. And we, we, we did that and hopefully it'll continue. Yeah, I mean, this whole period is a real step into the unknown, not just for football, but for everybody. Um, ideally, what would you like to see? Would you like to see? Uh, the season come back, be able to finish it whenever that is, or do you think there has to maybe be a line drawn under the sand at some point? What, what's your thoughts on that? First and foremost, you, you want it to be safe for everyone. You know, there's, there's, I think we're maybe third, third with the attendances. So it's going to be, you know, well over a thousand, fifteen hundred people packed in Denver Park. So you you want it to be safe for everyone first and foremost. Yeah. Um, but if that allows, we. You, I think maybe I'm not sure how they would maybe a playoff, maybe like a two legged playoff, maybe the top so many six teams or whatever. I'm not sure how they would do it. Um I think is it is it the the cup being cancelled? Is that uh, about it? Yeah, not not yet, but I suppose it's the deciding how European places would go. So if, if if a European place wasn't decided by the cup, you know, that could come into the league's reckoning or, you know, it's hard to hard to know. Yeah, well, I think maybe I don't know if the playoff would end for, for second and third would be viable. I'm I'm really not sure how they would do it. Like I said, it's, it's new ground for everyone. Um, I think some teams in Germany are training again, so I, I don't I don't know I don't know how they've they've got that far. Like you know, they're still obviously being hit very hard with the virus. So I'm I'm not sure how other clubs and other teams are doing it in other leagues. So I suppose that's up the IFA, but. Ideally, you would like it to come to an outcome, and you know, then if you, if you earned a place wherever you finished in the league, you, you would have earned it rather than being handed it. Yeah, I, I suppose the longer it goes on, maybe the more of us realise that you know whatever has to happen has to happen type thing. There hasn't been anything that we can base this on before, so I suppose it's a matter of waiting to see where we are and, and how long this might last for. I don't think there's any right and wrong, really. The, the longer it goes on, the harder it's going to be to finish them seven games. You know, do, do you play the seven games? Do you have a week off and go straight into a new season? Do you, you know, s s some teams will want maybe a month to clear the players out and bring new players in or redo their finances, considering this is going to hit times very hard. And every, everyone's on their own boat and it, it's hard to, it's hard to really to say what other teams are going to do. We're very lucky with the fact we have, the owners we have, um, and the fact that we're full time. So, you know, maybe playing the seven games take this as our, our summer holidays you play the seven games and go into a new season might not be a bad thing for us but for other clubs it might be disastrous yeah
And away from football, um, how do you find things? Obviously, um, young family at home and all the um, kind of challenges that, that comes with that. How do you find trying to, to, to deal with that sort of things? Not too bad. It's like I say, you know yourself. You've got young kids. It's 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 hard at times, but you know I'm lucky. I'm a, I'm a, obviously, I've got my wife and, and here and helps a lot. And I just kind of I'm the messer parent. I'm the one that takes them out the back and throws them in the mud and <laughs> sort of runs about kicking and tripping them and playing stupid games with them. So um, I just sort of I just act like a child when I'm at home. So it's just like my <laughs> missus having five kids. To be honest. <laughs> Uh, and just finally, any messages for Lauren fans obviously watching on and maybe experiencing difficult or frustrating times, what, what would you say to them? Hopefully just hang in there. Uh, hopefully we'll give you something to cheer in the near future. hope everybody keeps well and everybody's safe. And hopefully we all stick together around the whole town and hopefully we can beat this virus. Super, Jeff. Thank you.